Once we had a country that we thought it fair. We had a country and we thought it was fair to have that place. They banged the table and said, if you have got no passport, your passport is already old, it is not renewed and it cannot be renewed. He does not only speak about his own self, he is actually representing the lives of Jews as refugees in Europe. If refugees were let in, they will steal our bread and employment. And that man who was speaking, he was talking about us. Hello students, I am Anil, Assistant Professor of English, Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysore. In this session, we are going to look at a poem titled Refugee Blues by W.H. Arden for the students of first semester BCA. Refugee Blues by W.H. Arden. In this session, we are going to look at the poet, the title, what does it say and why it is titled Refugee Blues and we shall go through the poem and we shall conclude. W.H. Auden was one of the most important poets of the 20th century. W.H. Auden has become the most important poet of the 20th century. His poems have a strong political and social message. He believed that the human spirit survives best in an atmosphere of tolerance and compassion. Some of his best known poems are Spain and Muses Days Beaux Arts. So this is about W.H. Auden. His poems reflect human spirit and that human spirit survives best in an atmosphere of tolerance and compassion. The title Refugee Blues. The title of the poem Refugee Blues tells us a lot of what it is about as the poem's sense of musicality is conspicuous in the title. So blues means sad songs. So when you read the title you understand that the sad songs of those who have become refugees. The definition of the word refugee is a person who has been forced to leave one's country in order to escape war, persecution or natural disaster. Refugees are those people who lose their land, who lose their place to live due to various circumstances that is war, persecution and natural disaster. Now this poem talks about their sad situation. Refugee blues. Say the city has 10 million souls, some are living in mansions, some are living in holes. Yet there's no place for us, my dear, yet there's no place for us. The first stanza of the poetry is like this. Say the city has 10 million souls. W. Jordan particularly concentrates this poem or particularly, particularly talks about the situation of the German Jews. During the reign of Adolf Hitler, when he becomes the general and the dictator of the German country, he wanted to abolish the Jewish population from the entire Europe, starting from Germany. And these Jewish people become refugees in Europe. And this poem talks about them. Here is a person who is talking about his own situation. Therefore, he says, say this city has 10 million souls. Suppose there are 10 million people in this city. Some are living in mansions. Some people live in mansions. They are rich and some are living in holes. There are some poor people as well in this country and they are living in holes. Yet there is no place for us, my dear. Yet there is no place for us. The Jewish refugee is speaking this. Once we had a country and we thought it fair. Look in the atlas and you will find it there. We cannot go there now, my dear. We cannot go there now. The poem is simple and straight. There is no need for explanation when you read it. Once we had a country that we thought it fair. We had a country and we thought it was fair to have that place. And when you look it in the atlas, you will find it there. We cannot go there now. But now we don't have such a land. We have lost it. It's still there on the atlas, but we have lost it. We don't have that place, my dear. We cannot go there now. In the village churchyard, there grows an old yew. Every spring, it blossoms anew. In the village churchyard, where we once were, there is a yew tree. Every spring, it blossoms anew. Every spring, it grows into a new tree. Old passports can't do that, my dear. Old passports can't do that. A person's identity abroad is his passport, where a country accepts that fellow as its citizen. 
and he says old passport now this passport is expired it has become old now it can't say that we belong to such places old passport cannot blossom anew my dear old passport can't do it the consul banged the table and said if you have got no passport you are officially dead but we are still alive my dear we are still alive the consul where people check the passport of people and let them into a country or send them out of the country they banged the table and said if you have got no passport your passport is already old it is not renewed and it cannot be renewed in such case what happens if you do not have a passport then you are officially dead but the man says dear look at us we are still alive we are still alive went to a committee they offered me a chair i went to a committee they offered me a chair they showed me a chair i sat down asked me politely to return next year but i went there they said sir please come next year you are not allowed in this country but where shall we go today my dear but where shall we go today tomorrow yes i can come back but today where shall we go this is a question being asked by the jewish refugee came to a public meeting the speaker got up and said i went to a public meeting where there was political campaign going on if we let them in they will steal our daily bread and that speaker was telling something what did he say he said if we let them in they will steal our daily bread these refugees will steal our employment and food as well he was talking of you and me my dear he was talking of you and me that is refugees if refugees were let in they will steal our bread and employment and that man who was speaking he was talking about us thought i heard the thunder rumbling in the sky it was hitler over europe saying they must die i heard the thunder rumbling in the sky the war was going on it was nearing the second world war the bombs were exploding it was like thunder and lightning it was hitler over europe it was not the actual thunder it was hitler all over europe he was saying they must die we were in his mind my dear we were in his mind he said they must die who is this they when he said they dear it was you and i we were in his mind my dear we were in his mind saw a poodle in a jacket fastened with a pin saw a doctor open and a cat let in but yet but they weren't german jews my dear but they weren't german jews saw a poodle in a jacket fastened with a pin he says i saw a dog it wore a jacket it had a pin a dog was given so much saw a door open and a cat let in and i saw a door was opened and a cat was let in we were humans but they weren't german jews and that dog and cat they were not germans therefore they were allowed inside a country they were not german jews i went down the harbor and stood up on the quay i went down the harbor i went to the shores i went to the harbor i stood there and what happened there i saw the fish swimming as if they were free i saw those fish they were swimming as if they were very free they were independent only 10 feet away my dear only 10 feet away i saw it there my dear it was there it was swimming it was free and we are not free i walked through a wood saw the, saw the birds in the trees they had no politicians and sang at their ease now the speaker says i went into a forest as well i saw the birds in the trees they had no politicians and sang at their ease they did not have politicians to do politics they were free they were singing at their ease they weren't the human race my dear they weren't the human race and this human race has all these politics hating one another in the name of religion in the name of various other things we have humans dreamed i saw a building with a thousand floors a thousand windows and a thousand doors i dreamed of looking at a building it had thousand floors it had thousand floor windows and it had thousand doors not one of them was ours my dear not one of them was ours even in our dream i could not think of having a floor of our own such is the situation of us being refugees stood on great plain in the falling snow 10000 soldiers marched to and fro looking for you and me my dear 
looking for you and me. So I saw thousands of soldiers. They were marching in the falling snow. And what were they doing? What were they searching for? They were searching for you and I, my dear, you and I. Why? To execute us, to kill us, to trouble us. Here the poet ends the poetry and the speaker ends his dialogue. The speaker speaks of his position in Germany and Europe. He does not only speak about his own self, he is actually representing the lives of Jews as refugees in Europe under the reign of Hitler in Germany and this he is spreading to Europe. He is finding Jews, he was trying to kill them and no Jew was permitted to stay in Germany and they were treated not, they were treated not like humans and they were not even treated like dogs and cats. Even dogs and cats were permitted to live in Germany. Coming to the conclusion, the climax of the poem is in its final line as soldiers search for the speaker. He says in the final line, the soldiers are searching for the speaker. 10,000 soldiers mass to and fro looking for you and me, my dear, looking for you and me. Those soldiers were looking for this speaker to kill. Therefore, the story ends. The poem ends here, telling that the situation of Jews were not so good in the place where it was controlled by the German dictator Adolf Hitler. We shall meet in the next class. Thank you.